five regions around the world known as blue zones are rare longevity hotspots, where people live to a healthy old age. The term blue zone was coined by National Geographic fellow and author Dan Buechner. There's a daily time where you just slow down and uh, you let the, the, the stress reverse course a little bit. He first used it in his 2005 National Geographic cover story, The Secrets of a Long Life. In these communities, people frequently live well into their 90s and beyond the age of 100. Many of these people exercise frequently and maintain close social bonds with those around them. They also follow a predominantly whole food, plant-based diet. Number one, Okinawa. Simple food, not so oily. And then they do not eat a lot. They stop to eating maybe 70% or 60%. Some of the world's oldest human beings live in Okinawa, a string of islands in the south of Japan. Their long life expectancy has earned the island the nickname the Land of Immortals. The Okinawan people have low rates of cancer, dementia, and heart disease, health conditions that plague many people in the West when they enter old age. The overall life expectancy in America is 78 years. According to the CDC, approximately 85% of older adults have at least one chronic health condition. In Okinawa, women live longer than any other women on the planet. For every 100,000 inhabitants, the string of islands has 65 centenarians. Almost two-thirds of its centenarian population have made it to the age of 97, living completely independently. Experts believe genetics could play a part in their long lives, as well as lifelong friendships and a sense of purpose. I don't try to live as long as possible. It happens naturally, because we all gather, laugh and cry together. And that's what's good. That's what we say. But lifestyle and diet are also important. Only 2% of the Okinawan diet is made up of meat. The rest predominantly consists of sweet potatoes, rice, tofu, legumes, grains, and vegetables. Number two, Sardinia, Italy. We think or that's a hypothesis that maybe here's something in the food, in the plants, in the herbs, whatever in the microbiome that helps them to maintain this excellent microcirculation. In Sardinia, Italy, there's a kidney-shaped cluster of villages that make up the first ever officially recognized blue zone. It's home to nearly 10 times more centenarians per capita than the United States. The people who live there are cut off from the rest of Sardinia and follow a mostly traditional lifestyle. There's something about this area that um, is helping longevity of life. And I wonder if it's in the food that you're growing here. I mean, organic here is not a trend. Here is, I mean, is, is what you have. I mean, they would not eat tomato in December because they know there are no tomato in December. They do hunt and fish, but their diet is predominantly plant-based. They harvest their own vegetables and grains. 47% of their diet consists of whole grains. Meat is only eaten on Sundays or on special occasions. The residents maintain healthy, close bonds with friends and family, exercise regularly, and drink one or two glasses of Canano red wine a day, which they say helps to lower stress levels. Number 3. Nicoya, Costa Rica Nicoya in Costa Rica is home to around three and a half times the global average of centenarians. Nietos tiene. Nieto. Oh. papa. Their long lives are attributed to a sense of purpose, a focus on family, a strong social circle, healthy amounts of sun exposure, calcium-enriched water, and a plant-heavy diet. The average American could eat a cup of beans a day. It would add four years to their life expectancy. They do it every day for an entire life. A morning ritual that's washed down with a cup of black coffee. While Nicoyans do eat small amounts of meat, as well as eggs, cheese, and other animal products, they eat significant amounts of fruit, grains, and vegetables. Organic, organic, agua potable, productos de... According to Blue Zones, the Nicoyan centenarians have eaten a traditional Mesoamerican diet for most of their lives, which highlight the quote, three sisters of agriculture, corn, squash, and beans. Number 4. Ikaria, Greece. A small island in Greece, 
Ikaria is relatively isolated from the rest of the country. The people who live there hold tradition, family, and culture close to their hearts, and they live long, healthy lives. One in three Ikareans live to their 90s. According to Blue Zones, Ikarian centenarians drink herbal tea, exercise frequently, fast occasionally, nap regularly, and prioritize their social circles. They also eat a plant-forward Mediterranean diet high in greens, potatoes, legumes, and fruits. He eats a lot of beans, vegetables, yeah. milk, eggs, um, whatever from the nature. Mm. Yeah. Only 5% of their diet is made up of meat. Number 5. Loma Linda, California In the Loma Linda area of California, there is a Blue Zone community of around 9,000 people who belong to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Health is central to their faith and their way of life. They don't often smoke or drink alcohol. They exercise frequently. They eat little meat. Most of their diet is made up of plants. Adventists often cite Genesis 1.29 from the Bible, which reads, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. Many experts believe the plant-heavy diet and active lifestyle in the Loma Linda community helps them live up to a decade longer than the average American. American heart surgeon Dr. Ellsworth Warham, who died at the age of 104, followed a vegan diet for 50 years, attributing it to his good health. Why, well, of course, I then became entirely vegan, and um, I think that it has been a very fine form of nutrition. In 2009, Warham, who lived in Loma Linda, told the Los Angeles Times, the medical profession has done a great job of treating a disease, but I think we need to do a much better job of preventing a disease. Like other communities with a large number of centenarians, Loma Linda residents also attribute their long lives to a sense of purpose, belonging, being around like-minded people, and friends. Blue zones aren't the only regions where people live well beyond 90. There are other communities around the world where experts have found that people follow predominantly plant-based lifestyles and live to a healthy old age. Number 6. Hunza Valley, Pakistan In the idyllic Hunza Valley in Pakistan, legend has it that some have even lived to be 160 years old. Reports around the documented average life expectancy of the Hunza people are varied, but most agree that it is between 90 and 100 years old. While no one knows for certain how long they really live, just like in the Blue Zones, rates of illness among the Hunza people are low. Visiting physicians found the elderly population in the valley to be fit and virtually free from disease. This is attributed to frequent exercise. The Hunza people have no choice but to take constant physical activity. The valley is mountainous with rough terrain, and the nearest farmable land is a two-hour walk away. The Hunza people's diet includes minimal animal products, due to a lack of fuel for cooking, as well as animals to eat. They eat predominantly raw plant-based foods, like foraged berries. A very high life expectancy because of the fresh air, because of the, and especially because of the food. And so one of the very traditional dishes that we've been eating, and actually it's probably my favorite dish of the entire meal, is the chapati, which is filled with um, the apricot seed paste. They also grow their own crops, including wheat and barley. Number 7. Abkhazia In Georgia, legend also surrounds the Abkhazia people, who live in an autonomous region near the Black Sea, according to the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of the Republic of Abkhazia. In the 1970s, 40% of the population were over the age of 90. Reports from the 1970s also claim that some Abkhazia people have lived to 150 years old. These reports are disputed, although it is not unheard of for a person to live decades past their 100th birthday. The oldest person ever is thought to have lived to the age of 122. There is no argument that the Abkhazia people are generally very healthy and strong. Elders rarely suffer from any old age illnesses of the West and have even been known to run up and down mountains. The Abkhazia people follow a mostly plant-based diet, consuming lots of raw greens, whole grains, and nuts. As well as lifestyle and diet, some believe that their attitude toward life and age could be important too. Reports say that many Abkhazia people look forward to growing old, unlike in the West where many people try to desperately slow down the aging process. Number 8. The Vilcabamba Valley in Ecuador In Ecuador's Vilcabamba Valley, 
a region known as the Valley of Longevity. Aging is also respected and embraced. Recent research suggests that people who live there do not necessarily live longer than other human beings, but they do tend to grow old in good health without chronic illness. Scientists believe this is due to lots of physical activity and diet. The people of the Vilcabamba Valley eat a predominantly plant-based diet, consisting of vegetables freshly plucked from the ground, as well as fruits straight from the trees. Do you want to celebrate your 100th birthday? Maybe make like Warham, the Blue Zones, the Land of Immortals, and the Valley of Longevity, and consider giving a life with fewer animal products a try. What do you think? Will you give it a go? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. New videos every Tuesday and Friday.